Hey, it's Laura from Trained to Respond. I'm stopping by because I want to talk a little bit about how you can keep yourself safer in winter if you have to sleep in your vehicle. And we had two recent incidences here, one in the United States and one in Pakistan. One had an okay ending and the other had a horrific ending. In the United States on I-95, there was a huge snowstorm. Cars and vehicles got trapped on I-95 for 24 hours. There were no injuries and no deaths, thankfully. Thank you. But unfortunately in Pakistan, um, in an area, I, I don't know if they get snow a lot there, I'm not sure of it, but a lot of tourists and families went out to see the snow. And from what I can read on the news, it was about 100,000 vehicles kind of converged on this one area. Uh, and the snow kept coming and coming and about a thousand vehicles got trapped in the snow. And when you look at the news reports and you see the pictures, it, it looks like a lot of the snow came down and uh, they would just open up the vehicles and people were dead in their cars. And a couple of the different causes they're saying is one, many froze to death, which is just a horrific thing to think of, you know, freezing to death in your vehicle. Consider stocking a winter emergency kit for your vehicle. Here are some of my suggestions, but I'm sure you can come up with some more to keep you, your family, and friends safe this winter. And then two, carbon monoxide poisoning. So here's my winter safety tip for you. If you find yourself having to sleep in your vehicle for any reason, it might be maybe your electricity went out and that's the one place you can stay warm or maybe you're stuck like they were on I-95 or Pakistan where you're just stuck in the snow and you just got to sit there. It's very important one, if you're running your engine to crack that window a little bit, let's let some airflow in and two, and maybe crack the other window so you have airflow going back and forth and two, get out every so often and clear your exhaust. As the snow starts building up, if it builds up over your exhaust, where's the exhaust gonna go but into the vehicle? And that looks a lot as well when I'm looking at the videos in Pakistan, that that's what happened in, in a lot of the instances is the snow is just built up over top of the exhaust and it just filled the car and, you know, unfortunately they died of carbon monoxide poisoning and freezing to death. Uh, maybe keep, if you find yourself where maybe you have to sleep in your car, maybe you're on your break, whatever it may be, and there's snow coming down, um, keep yourself safe. If you have a little carbon monoxide detector, bring it with you and keep that in your vehicle. Also set an alarm so that you go out and you check on a regular basis to make sure that your exhaust is not covered with snow. Uh, it's just, just taking a few minutes just to think about the folks who lost their lives there, just simply going out on a beautiful day to look at the snow. So that's my tip for today. Stay safe this winter. This is Laura signing off.